Hey everybody, this is Mr. McKee with Net225. Uh, today I'm going to be going over Packet Tracer 14.3.5, which is basic router configuration review. All right, so if you made it through the WLC uh, Packet Tracer I did last time, uh, good thing you didn't give up. That was probably the longest one. Uh, this one should be fairly long, but um, this is more or less a review. Uh, just note that there is a lot of questions in here, so um, I'll have a Word document um, located in the submission link in Moodle that you'll have to fill out um, in addition to completing the packet tracer. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, um, looking at the workspace topology, you have, um, and also notice, IP version 4 and IP version 6 um, addresses. All right, so you have one LAN up here. Notice the um, CIDR24, just the third octet are changed on each four of these um, uh, networks. All right, look very network, look very network. You got a router, goes across here to another router, router one, router two. Um, notice kind of weird when I see this 10.0.3.0 um, .0 network. Um, I, I assume all these are are all internal to this company's network, but um, usually a router-to-router -router connection will have a backslash 30, like this one. All right, so remember, backslash 30, four possible addresses, you have a network, which is in this case 10.0.3.0, you have a broadcast, and you have two internet or usable post addresses. So when you see backslash 24, I just take note of that. I'm not saying that's wrong, that's, that's going to work fine. Hopefully, but um, I just note that. All right. Um, okay. Everything's got IP version six. You got an internet connection out here. Um, and notice these interfaces are not on currently, or there's something wrong with them. So we're going to have to configure those. All right. So if you look over here on the addressing table, um, R2. Uh, four interfaces, which R2 is right here on the right. Two gigabit interfaces, two serial interfaces. Serial interfaces have red, um, kind of like a Z pattern. Uh, the two gigabits are um, straight through. All right, got link, link local addresses also there. All right, PC, you get four PCs, one in each. Um, subnet so you have IP addresses and default gateways for two of them for each um, each PC all right so pretty straightforward there so you got 10.0.1.0 network two three is the router to router connection four and five all right so what we're going to do is we're going to configure devices and verify connectivity, assign static IP version 4 and version 6 addresses to the PC interfaces. All right, so all those, none of those are going to be DHCP. They're all static. Uh, configure basic router settings. Configure the router for SSH. Uh, verify network connectivity. And in part two, disable router information. Retrieve hardware and software information from the router. Interpret the startup config. Uh, interpret the routing table. And then verify the status of the interfaces. All right, background. This activity requires you to configure the R2 router using the set settings from the addressing table and the specifications listed. The R1 router and the devices connected to it have been configured. So we're gonna be just doing R2. All right, this is a comprehensive review of previously covered IOS router commands. In part one, you will com complete basic configurations and interface settings on the router. In part two, you will use SSH to connect to the router remotely and utilize the iOS commands to retrieve information from the device to answer questions about the router. For review purposes, this lab provides the commands necessary for specific router configurations. All right, so it should be a good review, but um, it shouldn't be too intense, hopefully. All right, so part one, configure devices and verify connectivity. Configure IP uh, PC interfaces. All right. So the only way to do that is just look up here and do them. Just 
as I always say, just don't rush through it. All right. So wait a second. Let's see. Oh, okay. See, I need to get attention to detail is really important. You view the IP version forward version six addresses on PC three, and then on PC four. Do you notice when I picked up PC one? All right. I was in a hurry. That one's already configured. PC2 is already configured. And let's just make sure 210. All right. Where it is? This is two is wake local default gateway. And don't worry about. These are hex invisible, so the uppercase B's or lowercase B's are the same. All right. So let's first do three. And probably the easiest way to do this is just do like like so. All right. PC three ten dot zero dot four dot ten. Tab down. Notice you can't, since it's backslash 24, you need to make sure it's a 255.255.255.0. That's a class A address, that's why it's it's not classful subnet mass, that's why you have to change it. All right, default gateways right there, 10.0.4.1. All right, no DNS server info. All right, IP version six, two zero one, maybe eight, PCAD, four, colon, colon, 10. All right, actually 64. All right, FDAD. Colon two, colon A. All right, and just verify that. Verify that. That'll probably be a easy one to overlook. Um, default gateway. DB eight ACAD four zero zero. Our right, colon colon ten sixty four. FEAD colon colon two colon A. All right, that one looks good. Completion rate like 11. All right, let's do four, PC four. All right, PC four is right here. <clears throat> All right, 10.0.5.10. Tab down, notice again, it's a class A address. Not a classable subnet, so 255.255.255.0. All right, backslash 24. All right, default gateway 10.0.5.1. All right, now IP version 6 address 2001 colon dp8 colon acad colon 5 colon colon 10 backslash 64. Um, gateway is FE80 colon colon 2 colon B. All right, verify everything's right. All right, looks good so far. DB2001, DB8, ACAD5 colon colon 10, 64, FE80 colon colon 2 colon B. Okay. 23%. I'm good with that so far. All right, now I'll configure the router. All right, number R2 is what we're going to be configuring the most, and that one has four interfaces too. So, all right, let's go to CLI. Now, what I like to look at, let's see, version. This is the newer router. See that? Um, 
if you see the, uh, let's see. We're going to be doing SSH, so it has to have the encryption included. And I can tell right here, I, I see the SHA-1 stuff, but remember K9, if you see that in the, um, in the, um, the dot bin file, um, in that file, that, that means it includes uh, encryption. All right, just scrolling down. And obviously this is a newer, this is a newer, it was like a 40, is that 4321? Or 4322? Something like that. Anyways, let's not worry about that. All right, but I just look at that to make sure in real life. Because if it doesn't have K9, it's not going to do your SSH encryption and stuff. All right. So in router 2, open terminal. All right. Another two. Okay. So enable. All right. Config T. All right. Um, assign a host. Actually, let me do this. All right. Assign a device name of R two to the router. Make this thing a little bit bigger. All right. Host name R two. Okay, configure that password as the encrypted uh, privilege exec mode password. So uh, enable secret. We're going to make it C1SCO1234. All right, enable secret. All right, that one's good. Set the domain name to router. Uh, CCNA dash lab IP domain name. All right, CCNA dash lab dot com. All right, that's good. Uh, and I love this one. D disable DNS lookup to prevent the router from attempting to translate incorrectly entered commands as though they were host names. This is like the best thing because if you I type in stuff wrong it'll sit there and try to search for the um, that host name this will prevent that so no IP domain domain lookup so that's good Uh, let's do service password encryption. Enable and uh, encrypt the plain text passwords. We do that. Configure the username SSH admin with the encrypted password of 55 uppercase H A D M exclamation point N. Okay. Username SSH admin secret 55H. Make sure this is case sensitive, so make sure you type it correctly. Exclamation point N. Just make sure that's right. I guess the fives are supposed to look like S's. That would be another good thing to put in a word list. SSH admin for our, for my guys that are in security class. All right, so we want to do create a set of crypto keys with a 1024-bit modulus. Um, so crypto key RS uh, generate RSA. Okay, and 1024. Okay, we generated that. And I'm going to move this and scroll down. So I can see the line. 
on J. All right, so line console. Let's see, uh, assign console as the, as the console password. Configure sessions to disconnect after six minutes of inactivity and enable login uh, to prevent console messages from interrupting commands. Use the log logging synchronous command. So in eight, let's enable C uh, Cisco as the console password. So line console zero password is Cisco. Um, login. Okay. Um. Is that time timeout six zero? So six minutes of any activity, you'll log out. You'll be logged out. Okay. To prevent console message from interrupting commands, like the log, you get keep getting log messages. Use the logging synchronous command. So logging synchronous. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go. All right, now let's do the BT the BTY lines. Line BTY zero four. Uh, password. Cisco. Configure the BTOI lines to accept SSH only. Configure sessions to disconnect. All right, so transport SSH. Oh, transport input. Question SSH. Okay. Alright, configure sessions. So exec timeout. Exec timeout six zero. Six zero. All right. Okay, and then finally, enable login using the local database. So login local. Okay, let me see this thing. So right here, line BTY04 password Cisco. Configure the line to accept SSH only. Transport input SSH. Configure sessions to disconnect after six minutes of inactivity. Is that timeout six? Enable local. Enable login using the local database. So login local. Okay. All right. We got to do a banner message of the day that warns anybody accessing the device that unauthorized access is prohibited. All right. Let's get back down here. All right, and I had to go back to the um, just the local config um, line um, banner message of the day. I always do the hashtags. Um, morning device. You know, following device. Let's do warning unauthorized access is prohibited. Exclamation point. Okay, that's there. All right, so enable IP version six. So IP version six 
uh, Unicat, Unicast routing. Okay. Configure all four interfaces on the router with the IP version 4 and IP version 6 address information from the addressing table below, above. Configure all four interfaces with descriptions. Activate all four interfaces. So we'll do we'll do one at a time. All right. So let's see. You scroll up here. All right. In in the description, where do they go? Let's do gigabit zero zero first. So gigabit zero zero goes to the full. Um, goes to S3. Interface, interface gigabit zero zero zero. Script. Description. Um, connect. S3. All right. IP address is ten dot zero dot four dot one the two three five dot two three five dot two three five dot zero. All right, IP version six. This is Colon DB eight colon DC eight colon four colon colon one next <clears throat> sixty four. All right, IP version six link local. Don't forget the link local address. All right. Now gigabit zero one goes to S four. We can go straight to that interface. Interface gigabit zero zero one. If you type it right. All right. So description. Connects to S4 IP address ten dot zero dot five dot one two three five dot two three five dot two three five dot zero for backslash twenty four IPv6 address. Actually let me make sure I I did type it in right. IP versions alright. IP version six, IP version six address there. There's my link local. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. So the first address, 201, colon db8, colon acad, colon five, colon colon one, backslash 64. And just be careful when you enter those because they're easy to type in incorrectly. All right, IP, IPv6 address, link local is FE80 colon colon 2 colon D, link local. All right, so that's that one. Now for the S, interface serial 0, zero, zero, one, zero. Let's make sure that's right. So zero, zero, 010 zero is goes to connects to R1. Zero. Zero one. This is if I can type it in right. 
Okay. S for serial zero and zero. Description uh, connects to R one. All right. IP address is ten dot zero dot three dot two. 3.2.255.255.255.0 IPv6 address is 201 colon db8 colon bcad colon 3 colon colon 2 64 alright IP version 6 address IP80 Colon, colon one colon C. Oh, cr yep. It didn't like that. All right, link local. All right, so let's just make sure. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look at the running config after I'm done with this too, just to be sure everything's right. But that's my current interface. Zero zero one zero. Description connects to R one. IP version four address ten dot three dot. 0, 10.0.3.2 backslash 24 that uh, 2001 db8 ecad colon 3 colon colon 2 backslash 24 all right ip address link local is fe80 colon colon 1 colon c okay All right, so the next one is serial interface zero, zero, 01, one, and it's going to I guess that one's already popped up. That's going to the internet. All right, so description Next to internet, IP address. Two oh nine dot one sixty five two hundred dot two five. All right, make sure this one's a two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty two. Yeah, 252 is backslash 30, 254 is backslash 31, 255 is a backslash 32. So that's right. All right, IP6 address 201 colon db. Whoops. Colon db8 colon. FEED colon two two four colon colon one backslash sixty four. All right, IP versus IPv six address FE eighty colon colon one colon D. Oh, about did it again. Link local. All right, good thing it errors that out for me. All right. So now that looks good. Let me do let me do an end. Show run. Alright, so gigabit zero zero zero. Description connects to S3, IP version four address, ten zero four one, backslash twenty-four, IP version six address. It puts the link local first, but that really doesn't matter. And see how it has a uppercase characters. That's all base 16, so hexadecimal. Colon colon two colon a db8 acad four colon colon one. All right, it is shut down. Let's not forget about that. Um, 
gigabit 001, 10.0.5.1, backslash 24, FE80 colon colon 2 colon B, 2001 DB8 ACAD5 colon colon 164, and it shut down. Let's go to serial 010, description connects to R1. S010, right, verified that. 10032, backslash 24, FE80, colon, colon, 1, colon, C, 2001, colon, DB8, A, uh, colon, ACAD, colon, 3, colon, colon, 2, backslash 24. All right, has a clock rate that's serial, but it's also shut down. And then finally, serial 001, description connects to internet, which that's down there. Alright, 209.165.200.825, backslash 30, so 255, 255, 255, 252, um, IP6 address, blank local is FE80, colon, colon, 1, colon, D, um, and the routable IP address is 2001, uh, colon, DB8, FEED, colon, 224, colon, colon, 1, there's a lot of numbers spitting out. All right, clock rate, serial connection, shutdown. All right, so let's go ahead and just one by one, we'll turn these on. All right, config T. All right, interface, gigabit zero. Well, what we, now we can do interface range, gigabit zero. Zero, 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 one, no, shut. All right. Interface up, change state to up. We could do interface range serial zero. Zero, one. Zero through one. I don't know if that's gonna work. Is it? All right, zero interface zero zero one. I just don't want to mess that up. All right, that interface no shut. All right, that one's up. Zero no shut. Dang, that got us to a hundred percent already. All right, Okay, so enable routing, configure all four interfaces on the router with IP version 4 and version 6 addressing. We did that, configure all interfaces with descriptions, activate all four interfaces. I just activated them. Save the running config to startup. So let's do, uh, let's do an end, uh, copy, run config to startup. Start config. Do I want to keep it the default name? Yes. All right, did that. All right, verify connectivity using the command uh, line at PC3, which is right here. Ping IP version 4 and IP version 6 addresses on PC4. So 10.0.5. Ping 10.0.5.10. The first uh, first ping will time out. Yep. All right. 
ahead and pause this for a second. All right, now what I did, I, I copied the, you already pinged the IP version 4 address. I copied the um, the IP version 6 address from PC4, paste it in. All right. So we got connectivity from there. Were the ping successful? Well, you can look at the screen and tell. All right, and then the IP version 4 was up here. So it looks good. Okay. So from the CLI on R2, ping the S011 address on R1 for both R2. Password is C one S C O one two three four. In a configuration mode sign. Wait, the config. All right, that's pretty exact. There it is, Cisco. Sure, none that. Cisco. Enable. One SCO one two three four. All right, so we're logged in there. So we're going to ping S zero one one on R address on R one. I will mouse over this. All right, so we know I think I can ping from here ten dot three dot three dot dot that interface will be dot one. All right, so we get a response back. All right, the The IP version six address. Let's see if this works. Two zero one colon eight colon PCAD colon three colon colon. <coughs> is S zero colon colon one. Okay. Yep. So we got two responses back. I don't actually, I don't ping IP version 6 addresses that often, so it's cool that that works. All right, let's see. And it actually told me the addresses, but you should be able to gather from what this says. That's your address. That's your IP address. You should know. Put a dot one for the fourth octet. Uh, put a one at the end of the two colons or behind three. All right. Because matter of fact, that means zero 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 one is all all the way on the right. All right. So we're ping successful. They look good to me. From the command line of PC three, ping the uh, ISP address. From PC three, ping the IP address. Let's see. Two 
All right, we got responses back from that. All right, those pings were good. From PC3, attempt to ping the address on the ISP for testing. Where is that? 64. OK. 64.100.1.1. Wait, where did I put? 64.100.1.1. OK, that one didn't go through. Let's see. So we're trying to ping for testing. Okay, that ping wasn't successful. All right, let's see. From the command line on PC3, opening SSH section to R2, gigabit 000. IP version 4 address and log into SSH admin with password that. 10.0.4.1. Alright, so let's SSH1L. And that is it. That right there's an L, not a number one. Okay, I about pushed. One of them. All right, SSH admin ten dot zero dot four dot one. All right, I got a password. So this is case sensitive. Fifty five H A D M exclamation point N. All right, we're logged in. We get our uh, banner. All right, was the remote uh, access successful? You can answer that. In part two, you will you show commands from the SSH section to re re uh, retrieve information from the router. All right. All right, so from the command line, or, uh, PC3 open an SSH section to gigabit 000, and that was actually, we're already there, <clears throat> so we're gonna stay there. All right, use the show command version to answer the question about the router. Let's do the show version. All right, you should be able to find the version on there. What is the name of the iOS image? You guys should be able to see that. All right, I'll let you guys look at for that, but yeah. And remember, since it it does SSH, it'll have a K9 in the in the name. All right. All right, so let's see. How much non-volatile uh, NV RAM does the router have? All right. You should be able to find that from the display. All right, so non-volatile configuration memory. All right. How much flash memory? All right, that's also on there. 
The show commands often provide multiple screens of output. Filtering the output allows the user to display certain sections of the output. Uh, to enable a filtering command, use the pipe, which is uh, shift um, the backspace. Uh, after the show command, followed by the filtering parameter and a filtering expression, you can match the output to the filtering statement by using the include uh, keyword to display all lines from the output that, that contain the filtering expression. Uh, filter the show command using show version um, pipe include register to answer the following question. All right, so show version pipe and then include register. All right. So what is the boot process for the router on the next reload? That should be the, um, the number listed. All right. And this should remember like security class 0x shows that this is a, this is actually hexadecimal. That's a fun fun fact. All right, let's see. All right, so we're gonna get out of that. We're gonna do use the show show run command. Show run. Actually, let's do. Password Cisco, yeah. Enable password is is the crazy one. C one S C O one two three four. All right, show run. All right, we are. Use the show run config command on the router to answer the following questions filtering for lines containing the word password. So if we do that, do a pipe and then we do the include. So we want to we want to be filtering for lines including the um, containing the word password. Passwords included in the encrypt all the plain text passwords and then the two password um, the hash values of the passwords. All right, how are how are passwords presented in the output? Uh, see that? Use the show running config begin vty command. We'll do the up arrow. Show run config begin ETY. Alright, so begin at the VTY. So that, that begins at the VTY line and shows what's set up. Six minute timeout, password, uh, local database login, um, SSH is in, has, has been in, enabled. Alright. It says no, a more specific command would show show running config section BDY. However, the current version of Packet Tracer does not support the section filtering command. Okay. Display the running the routing table on the router. Use the show IP root. Show I whoops. Show IP root. Okay. What code is used in the routing table to indicate a directly connected uh, network? Okay, you can see in there there's C's or there's L's. Oops. 
Let's see if you can see by the codes. All right, you should be able to figure that out by the codes. All right. What is the code in the routing table to indicate a directly connected network? Um, and then after that, how many root entries are coded with a C code in the routing table? One, two, three, four. Okay, so count those up. I might have said that out loud. All right. Display the summary list of the interfaces on the router. Show IP interface brief. All right, so show IP interface brief. All right, which command changed the status of the gigabit ethernet ports from administratively up down to up? You should be able to figure that out. I entered that for all, all four of those interfaces. All right. What filtering command would you use to display only the interfaces with addresses assigned? Okay. And then if I do answer that and then show IPv6 interface brief. Right now that shows all these that are link local and the routable IP version six addresses. All right, those are all in there. So if I was to show IP interface brief. Okay, so show IP interface brief. I put a pipe in there and I put a question mark. So if you want to find something that begins with an expression, um, exclude displays output lines that do not contain the regular expression, include display output lines that can uh, contain the, the regular expression. So show, show IP interface brief. Um, clue. Include assigned. Hmm. That work. Exclude. All right, exclude unassigned. VLAN one is unassigned. So that, that would work in that case. So let's go back. I just wanted to do this out of order so you guys would make sure you paid attention to what I did. Okay, so show IP interface brief. All right, and then what is the meaning of of the up and up? Okay, so it you can explain it two ways. You can explain what each of them uh, represent or what layer of the OSI model they are part of. Physical layer, data link layer, they're not going to be part of the uh, network layer. So make sure you get the right one. Might have to do some research. One's one's layer one, one's layer two. You gotta put up, you know, which one's which. Alright, I'll let you guys do that. Alright. But you should be able to find that in the 
information you have been provided by Medicaid and the and or the internet. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I know this video went way too long, but um, we got through it. Um, we were at 100% way before we finished, but um, that's just the way it goes sometimes. But in April, to answer all those questions, though, you have to get through it. So what I'll be doing, I'm, I'm going to be making a Word document out of this. I'll highlight all the um, questions that you need to answer. So you submit that. You'll submit your .pka file that's completed and a screenshot showing that um, you completed the activity. All right, so congratulations, your name, you completed the activity. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching.